Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here with Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and today I want to talk to you about why your teeth are yellow. And make sure to watch this all the way to the end because there's going to be a little bit of a surprise and a little bit of a giveaway here at the end. All right, guys, so I want to talk to you today about different types of staining. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about the different types. So, we have extrinsic stains versus intrinsic stains. So extrinsic stains are something that happens on the outside of the tooth and intrinsic is on the inside. So say we have our tooth here, on the outside of the tooth we have something called enamel and that's actually really hard, um, tough part of the tooth and it's actually the toughest part or the toughest structure we have in our body. And then you have dentin on the inside of the tooth and that's obviously less strong than enamel and that kind of has more of like a yellowish hue to it. Whereas enamel, the outer surface of your teeth, is more like a whitish or translucent, translucent kind of um, color. So those are the two types uh, of staining. So let's talk about extrinsic stains. That's the easiest one for most people because that's the most common. And how that happens is say you're drinking a lot of this, a little Starbucks, some coffee, or you're having some wine, some red wine, anything that basically can stain. I always say if it can stain your clothes, it can stain your teeth, but any of those type of um, beverages or food, that is going to stain your teeth. And the worst type you can have is something that is acidic, because what happens is that acid kind of erodes away the surface of the tooth, and then you have these colors that kind of come on and they can latch on a little bit better. If the tooth is nice and smooth, then you know it kind of glistens off, it doesn't, it doesn't latch on as much. But if it's acidic, yeah, it, it erodes away the tooth and then it latches on, which is the worst. So stuff like coffees, red wines, those are terrible for your teeth. Um, the other things are lifestyle choices. So if you have tobacco, if you have chew, anything of that nature, that is obviously, as you know, going to stain those teeth quite a bit. Um, the, good thing with extrinsic stains is they are relatively easy to get rid of. So if you're a smoker, they definitely know this, you come in and you can get that stain, you know, that stuff can get removed from your teeth relatively easily. Um, if you just have plaque on your teeth, if you have something like a Sonicare, that can actually make your teeth whiter as well. Really good toothbrush. If the stain is a little bit more deep because you've had lots of coffees, lots of wines, then you can whiten your teeth. As I mentioned previously, you, in another video, um, you can do at-home whitening, you can do crest white strips, you can do zoom bleaching in the office. So there's different ways you can whiten your teeth and that works amazingly well on extrinsic stains, stains on the outer surface of the teeth. So those are the ones that most people know and that's probably the most common and the easiest, easiest one that can, people can relate to. There's lots of different stains though. So then we have intrinsic stains and there are many examples of this. So probably one of the most common, if you're a little bit younger, you might know this. Say you fell and got hit and you hit your tooth. So now that tooth actually sometimes turns really dark. And what happened was on the inner surface, on the, you know, below, actually below the dentin or within the dentin, there are these blood vessels. And if you get hit really hard, those blood vessels burst just like a bruise happens, but it's a bruise on your tooth. And so instead of it being black and blue on your skin, it's kind of like black and blue, but in your teeth. And that stain is very, very hard to get rid of. And you have to do these other things like potentially root canals, internal bleaching, maybe get a crown on the tooth, something that's going to cover that tooth because that is not just easily fixed by just some no normal whitening. So that's one of them. You might have some developmental issues. So some people have um, amelogenesis imperfecta, some other diseases that cause the teeth just to not develop properly and they're going to be really um, yellow and brittle. Uh, there's another genetics factor that just comes into play and it's not really a huge issue for a lot of other things, just aesthetically. You know, some people have bigger teeth with more enamel, which is good for the whitening factor because you have to think of this. So you have your tooth here that is the outer surface is enamel, the inner surface is dentin. That outer surface is clear or white, and the inner surface is yellow. So if that enamel is really thin, then what's going to happen is that natural yellowness of the dentin is going to shine through. So people who have really small teeth or really small enamel are going to have just more yellow teeth because that natural color, that natural yellowness of that dentin is shining through. And the same thing, not so easy to fix. Um, that also comes with age. You know, as we age, our dentists always talk about this, <laughs> that if you're aging and you're grinding, some people grind their teeth and their front teeth, you can see are like 
it's really, really itty bitty. And that's because they've ground their teeth away and they're not grinding the inner surface first, they're obviously grinding the outer surface first, the enamel, the white stuff. And so the yellow surface starts shining through. And that can happen on the surfaces of the teeth, that can happen on the sides, kind of towards the gums, that can kind of happen everywhere. So anytime you're making the enamel thinner, then the natural color, the dentin, the inner portion of the tooth is gonna shine through and make it more yellow. So that's another reason to keep your teeth healthy. You wanna want make sure that everything's really nice and healthy. Um, another one that's a little bit different is called fluorosis, and we see this almost every day as well. Fluoride is very important. I know there's a lot of controversy sometimes with fluoride, but fluoride is really important to, cure, deeper, to keep our teeth strong. So it's really good at just strengthening the teeth so you don't get cavities and so you don't have to drill on the teeth. But if you have too much fluoride, then you get something called fluorosis. So there's a balance where you want fluoride to keep um, on your teeth because you want them to be strong, but if you have too much fluoride, especially when the teeth are developing, then you have issues. And you may have seen this in some of your friends or some of your family members where their, their teeth are kind of stained yellow and white and sometimes even brown. And that is when the teeth are developing. So it's, it's on the inner surface, it's on the outer surface, it's, it's kind of everywhere. That is very, very hard to get rid of as well. Another one when we're developing, and females may not know this as much, so this is really important for females, especially if you're thinking of having a baby, is certain type of antibiotics, like tetracycline, monocycline, certain type of antibiotics, if you're pregnant, are gonna affect the baby. So as the tooth is developing, if you're taking in these antibiotics, those teeth will actually start to turn like yellow, or more like grayish type of, of hue. And that's, it's very noticeable, obviously, depending on the amount of the antibiotics, antibiotics you've taken. So if you're taking it and the baby's developing and the teeth are developing in the womb, or if for some reason the baby has to take it from the ages of you know, zero to maybe say ages of six, those teeth are gonna have um, grayness on them. And that's just because the antibiotics actually get into the teeth as they're growing, so they have these grayness on them. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the differences on how we're gonna fix that. So remember, we have the extrinsic stains and the intrinsic stains. The extrinsic, relatively easy to fix. You know, we talked about getting your cleaning, making sure um, the teeth are looking good with getting all the plaque off the teeth with the Sonicare, making sure that, um, you know, maybe filling the cavities if there's any staining on any of the teeth because of that. If it gets really deep, we can start thinking about whitening. Those are relatively easy, non-invasive, easy stuff. But if you have intrinsic stains, so if you have that, those, um, those diseases, we talked about the amelogenesis imperfecta, or if you have small enamel, or you just have small teeth, or something happened with trauma, if you have those type of issues, you can't just whiten your teeth and everything's gonna be good. It just doesn't work that way. You're gonna need to do something different. You can either do veneers, potentially, or crowns. And that's a whole other video, So, but and a lot of people don't know the differences, but let me just go through veneers. What veneers basically are is, say this tooth has really small enamel, or it's cracked, or it's small, or something of that nature. We wanna put something on it to make it look bigger and brighter and more beautiful. And so what you'll do is you'll put an, um, a kind of like a porcelain covering on the tooth and that's gonna make it look pretty. And so that yellowness or that jaggedness of that tooth won't shine through. So that's, that's a veneer. You're basically just putting some porcelain on the tooth to make it look pretty. So with intrinsic stains, you definitely need to do something more invasive like we mentioned. It's gonna be, it's gonna be crowns, it's gonna be veneers, it's gonna be you know, maybe some sort of composite buildup, something along those natures to make the tooth look a little bit better. So those are the, those are the different reasons that you have staining, the two different types, how you can cure them. But just remember, though we can cure them later, prevention is still the best thing. So if you're gonna have your coffees, if you're gonna have your wines, if you're gonna have um, anything that can stain your teeth, try your best to, you know, if you have your coffee, try to drink it through with a straw. If you're gonna have something that's really staining, some sort of food that's really staining, I would, after I'm eating, and I do this all the time, after I'm eating, rinse with water. It might be, feel a little funny at the, at the start, but rinsing with water can just prevent those, those, those different stains from sticking onto your teeth and kind of washing away. So yeah, we can fix things later. You know, if it's intrinsic, it gets a little harder. But if it's those extrinsic stains, just prevention is the easiest way to fix these different things. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching so much. Make sure to mention this code here at the bottom when you're booking for a new patient appointment at any one of our offices. That goes for Thrive Dental, that goes for Breckenridge Dental, that goes for Oak Brook Dental. And if you mention this code, you will get a free Sonicare toothbrush. And that's just for us to show our appreciation to you for watching and supporting us. All right, guys, thank you so much.